Good evening, everyone. I am Catherine. I am going to be talking about the nonprofit organization that Jeffrey Canada created and what I feel to explain a little bit more about what it is. It is um, uh, Jeffrey Canada created a community intervention program in which he believes he will fulfill his vision for these underprivileged children. He created this program in which he gives children a chance at success uh, just as much as anybody else. <clears throat> this program was made because he feels empathy for the children and families, because he was once in their shoes. His program has brought a lot of success to children, communities, and families. So, um, to talk a little bit more about the, um, the process of prevention, I feel like he did... That's that was his reasoning for uh, making the program in itself, because he he not only created something that would give the community a sense of hope in education, but he created it also because he sees something, he sees a vision, and he wants he whatever has been going on f over the past few years or decades in the city of New York and the city of Harlem is um, something that he wants to change and he wants to prevent. Um, so that's the intervention component that he incorporated um, into the Harlem Children's Initiative. And I also feel like he added um, block associations to it in which to further explain what that is is technically like he made the he strategized it to be a little bit more personalized so he has a vision he created it he hired the perfect teachers um he has a charter school in which they have their own theories and their own strategies and and nothing is controlled by the state so um he the way he did the he waited he made it more personalized was by doing that um that's him using block association <clears throat> um also he used uh much more recruitment activities like you saw in the video he was um he has people who went around and you know knocked on people's doors just to let them know look like you know we do have tutoring services for you guys uh for your kids we have um, a lot of opportunities available to help your child grow in in education wise um, he also has a lot of leadership training in which I feel like is very important because he was explaining how the the teachers um, and you know like the after caregivers and everything they're they're trained and it seems like he has them in he he teaches them to do things a certain way so that it's not like the status quo and it's not like the state wants it to be but like how he feels education should be taught and I think that's very important um other than that I think um he used a lot of um he used um a lot of networking also um which I think that um makes a lot of sense because um, when you network and for example like he made his his um, his program known and it got so much attention um, because of his because of how it's so efficient that it got to the White House and because it's been so well known and um, he he makes profit from from that he gets help from uh, the White House and from Wall Street and just to help his vision grow um especially since there's results and statistics proving that it is growing and that the kids are learning and that he's not doing things in vain so i think that's extremely important um then um so i do feel like that's something that he did to um prevent uh i think everything that he has that he has done is just used to prevent something from happening something that he's seen happen for a long time 
and he wants to create a stop to it. He wants the he wants the black community to have an equal chance as anybody else into getting to college, into getting the best education possible they can in grade school, in middle school, in high school, and with no repercussions or or anything that's that's making them feel like okay, well I passed, but you know it was just by oh you know just by chance or anything but because they actually got the attention they needed and they deserved and the same attention that any other kid would get in a suburban town or you know uptown or anywhere else so i think that's very important um and then for the last part um i would explain how the how the, these program components would affect community members. So I think that this program has affected community members by being a little bit more open to change and realizing that change can happen. And once somebody puts their mind to helping others and creating this change, that they can also create a change too. So for example, like, you know, Jeffrey Canada is there to help families you know help them help their kids because the kids are not always with their parents so when they're not they're usually at school and what he's doing is that he's helping them while they're not home but that creates a care or a want from the families to you know possibly have their children or possibly want to teach their children more and want to care for their education and want to care to teach them the to teach them more and to to be more involved in their education since they are they have somebody that's also caring for them that's that's not them so um i think that's very important um and i think that helps a lot because i think that the community sees that the head of the vision is giving his all so therefore they feel like well okay so this person cares for my child I should put my part into it too and it creates a sense of 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 caring and of involvement in the child's life which is equally as great because the parents should be their number one supporter the parents should be there at all times pushing their child to strive for their best and should always be there for their education um because it shouldn't just be the teachers and it shouldn't just be Jeffrey Canada it should their parents should be number one in that spot at all times um so uh i also feel like um speaking about chapter 3 and uh stressors for example i think that chronic stressors events for children would include racism within cultures and public schools and i feel like a lot of kids in grade school have a lot of problems with that when it's a mixed school they maybe tend to see a little um maybe racism within the classroom or maybe preference or maybe um it's not everything is not like equalized and i feel like it it creates a sense of 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 you may maybe like self-loathing or you know their self-worth is is lowered or the, their self-esteem within their education or within their mind or within what they their their sense of intelligence and i feel like that's something that affects them and an acute stressor for them would be problems at home or anything like that that they they seem like they can't resolve and and issues like that within their community and their their neighborhood um i feel like there wouldn't be as much of that in 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 his in his program like i feel like it's not the same i feel like they care for them i feel like the kids know that they care for them and i feel like it's it's good to know that and um i feel like there wouldn't be any micro assaults either just because sometimes um when you have when you're in a public school sometimes teachers tend to say things they don't mean and it's you know whether they mean it or not sometimes a child will not understand it the same way that you know maybe they're saying it or how it's being expressed and um i think that uh, sometimes micro assaults might slip 
um, and it affects children. It affects children and affects their their self esteem, um, and and the way they view their own intelligence and stuff like that. And I feel like that has a, an effect on kids. But I think that this program does not have that and does not include that because they're trained not to to to, to be like that, and they're trained to to deal with all kinds of kids and and to just help them evolve um and grow instead of um you know pushing them down um <clears throat> i feel like problem focused coping is what mr canada used because he changes the environment um so him changing the environment of the child changes everything environment and biology go hand in hand and your environment plays the biggest almost the biggest role in your life in everything and that is what he did that is what he's doing with these kids and i feel like that is extremely important because any type of uh extraneous variable that there might be um uh involved in the child's life that is one that will not be affected and school and you know the system in which you are taught has a lot to do um with your 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 self like self-esteem self-worth you know like the way you feel about yourself like your your achievements i think it 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 plays a big role and um the fact that it changes the environment for the child maybe more so if they have problems at home or within their neighborhood but they come to to such a great program that cares for them i think that is just worth gold really um and i think that's um everything that 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 he's done i think it's great i think it's it's moving really and i think it's something that only somebody who really really has a vision um will definitely achieve and 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 promote and i think that he's doing that and i i congratulate him for that um so 